<laughs> Hi. Hi, it's Cassandra Xavier and it's um, Sunday, July 25th and I just was eating something really quickly and I thought, you know, let me share this with you because um, it's all about transitioning and I kind of like to do the whole start where you are thing and show people like how you can actually start going raw, how you can incorporate more raw into your diet, even if you're not interested in becoming a high percentage raw, just some of the ways you can incorporate more raw into your diet that are pretty palatable and easy to do. For example, I was hanging out in the kitchen with my roommate and she was heating up some lentils that she had made and she offered me some and I said, no thanks, and then I said, wait a minute, do you have some rice to go with that? And she said, no, and then she's having it with bread, and I didn't want to have it with bread. The particular bread that's there, um, I brought home, because somebody gave it to me and <laughs> from, you know, where I was before. And then I, <laughs> my ex, I, I still see my ex because I work at his house, and, you know, we still act kind of like couple sometimes in some ways, including, like, I'll keep food in the fridge, unlike the other workers, because I was living with him for seven months, so I'll keep my food in the fridge, he'll share his food with me, so all that stuff. So basically he had brought, he'd bought some more bread than he needed, because it was on sale, and he offered me a loaf and I took it, and, um, and it turns out that even though I know I'm allergic to wheat, I'm not super allergic, but some types of breads, um, particularly the certain kinds of breads, um, really like close up my throat <laughs> and this one started to do that so I was at home and I was eating it I was like oh my god so I put the bread in the freezer to protect me from myself so anyway so I left it from my roommate so I told her you know so she was having it with that bread and I didn't want it with that bread this is a long story <laughs> I, I was like okay I'll have lentils but I don't really want it with that bread and so I would have had it with rice because she has she eats brown rice I eat brown rice so I was like, okay, I won't have the lentils. And then, and I remember that I had made a batch of kale. I'd made a, a huge batch of kale and celery. And I and I put it in um, three different containers to take to, two containers to take to work, and one container in the fridge. And with me in in the bag to take to work, I took three oranges and one onion. And that is because I can use the greens mixture um, to have either as a sweet meal or as a savory meal. So I can put onion in it and mix it with whatever else that I'm eating if I'm eating dinner. Or I can just put the oranges in it and have my fruitarian um, fruit salad meal. So, so I just made that batch, which is really a good idea, I found, because once you have this salad batch around, you can mix it with other things, including lentils. So here I was. So here are the lentils in here. She was like, hey, do you want some lentils? Oh, that looks so good. Yes, it does. Um, but I didn't want to have it with bread. And so I put it on top of my trusty lentils mix. So this, I mean my um, salad mix. So this actually was full of kale and celery. I just was eating it. And while I was eating it, I was like, oh, this is so good. But then I was like, oh, you know what? I, I really, I ought to make a video. I ought to make a video of this. And, then, and I'm thinking about it while I'm eating, while I'm eating, before you know it, it's almost gone. But anyway, so this is celery and kale. So that was there, and then I just spooned the lentils on top of it, which was hot, but it's okay because it cooled off fast, so most of this raw stuff is still raw. All the raw stuff is still raw. And the, um, and the lentils, I just mixed the lentil mix into it, and it's so good. It's really delicious. So I'm going to go back to the mirror. Um, so basically, yeah, so that's what that is. So basically, keep um, a, a salad mix, a neutral salad mix, nothing sweet, nothing savory in it, in the fridge, and so that you can um, mix stuff with it. And that'll help you cut down on carbs. Carbs, like let's say you want to order uh, Chinese food. You could order um, Chinese food and just skip the rice and mix the savory stuff with the salad stuff. It's really good. That was actually one of the ways that I went raw, one of the times that I went raw successfully. Um, is that I just replaced um, the pasta that I was eating every day at work. I was eating pasta with sausage, um, and I was working near UPenn's campus, and they're on Penn's campus actually, and there was a, you know, like a food court area um, where I would just like go get my food, and there would be this place, um, and I think it was called Familia Pizza or whatever, and I would get like two bowls of 
pasta with s sausage and sauce on top. And then when I read David Wolf's Eating for Beauty, um, and he said, don't w worry about taking stuff out of your diet. Rather, put raw into your diet. Just keep adding raw. So I did that. So I just thought, okay, <clears throat> I'm going to add two salads to that. So a uh, one salad. So I started, I added a salad to that. And then I was kind of too full, and I thought, you know what, let me just not even have the pasta. I'll just have them make me two salads with the sauce and the meat. And that was delicious. I didn't even miss the pasta. So a lot of times greens can replace your starch. So you can actually get, if you want to have something meaty, something saucy, just put it on top of a bunch of kale and just eat that. It'll be yum -y. So that's my story, and I'm going to go ahead and stick to that.